Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello to you all. I am Clarissa Myers coming to you live on this Monday morning. It's a brand new week, guys. <laughs> and um, this week, well, this morning, I would say, I, um, by the way, let me just say, I'm a spiritual entrepreneur and I'm speaking to fellow spiritual entrepreneurs. And every morning, Monday through Friday, normally I come and share a nugget or two with, with my listening audience, other fellow spiritual entrepreneurs who know that they are here on this planet for a specified reason. Anyway, this morning, the topic of my live, I titled it, So What's Holding You Back? And this is a message also for myself. Good morning, Cousin Dennis. Good morning. Good morning to you, Robert. Glad that you guys can join me this morning. What's holding you back? And I pose that question to myself as well. Uh, so even though I'm speaking this, it's, it's a message that I'm telling myself. So, so why do you find yourself back in the same spot? You know, uh, you've set your goals, you know what you want to do, and you're working towards it, but for whatever reason, something is holding you back. You know, our minds uh, have been designed to protect us. Anytime we experience anxiety about something or, or you, it causes you stress and you, you know, whatever is going through your mind, it's, your, your body has a natural defense mechanism built in. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. But we have to be able to recognize what it is. And if, it, if, if you're making excuses, if, if you're, you're not achieving what you're trying to do, so you have to question yourself and analyze, what is it that I am not doing? So um, I know what it, for me, I know what it is. Um, sometimes we wanna wait for someone else from the outside to come and help us out with something, but it is a fire that's within us that we have to keep it lit. And that little fire drives us every day to do the things that we need to do. Sometimes you need to put a little bit more time into what you're doing. Sometimes, yes, you will experience frustration. So when you're um, getting frustrated about something, maybe you need to step back, okay? Maybe I approach the, uh, the, the problem that you're trying to solve from a different angle. You know, our bodies are designed to protect us. And we have to realize that. But it doesn't mean that you can't achieve the goal that you set for yourself. You have to change your mindset you know, you think you're approaching, oh, this is hard, oh, this is hard. But change those thought patterns from this is hard to, you know what, I can do this. I can do this. This is, you know, and it's all in the way that you approach it. All right. So, I mean, I'm kind of like veering off the end a little bit, but it's because it all goes, it ties together. Um, so we have to stop waiting for someone else. Put the time in that's required. Sometimes you, you look at it, oh, it's gonna take so long for me to learn all of this stuff. But guess what, thank God for you for Google. <laughs> thank God for YouTube. Some of those, um, those devices, those um, programs are there. We gotta really utilize them. Uh, this morning my daughter was telling me, mom, you know, I have this assignment to do for my class and I, I just don't know how to do it. And of course, I couldn't really give her the answers to how to do it. I said, girl, just go to that Google or you know, find a YouTube chat and, and don't necessarily have that same problem, but see how they approach it, how they work it out. So yes, so what's holding you back? Oh, so good morning, Sipo. Glad that you can join me this morning. Good mor morning, Derek, uh, my, my childhood friend and still friend today. Uh, good morning, I can wave to you guys. Yes, so so one thing, remember, I have three points that I wanted to make. One is our minds are designed to protect us, and we, are, we realize that, but we don't, we don't need to use that as an excuse. We know what we need to do, we just need to go ahead and do it. Um, two, you are the key. You can't really depend on anyone. Yes, if, if you need help, you can ask, somebody will be willing to help you, but the bottom line is you are the one who's going through this. This is your journey. And whatever it is that's holding you back, you need to figure that out. And if it requires more time, then do that. Or 
maybe you can outsource or there, there, are, there are ways to come around a problem. I was looking at a video that someone sent me of a, a young girl. She might have been like 15, learning to do her hair. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't really funny because she was really struggling. And she was just beating herself. I mean, using all this profanity and look at that. She was trying to do her hair. And the, the frustration was evident all on her face and in her actions. And sometimes we tend to feel like that. But if we breathe, breathe through it, reprogram our minds, tell ourselves we can do it. We can do it. Um, so recognize what you're doing. If you're finding you're using your time to do something else because you're avoiding doing the thing you need to do, if you're making excuses, if you're having doubt, you're having anxiety, and you're doing everything except what you know you need to do, you have to recognize that and change that. And push through all of that noise, all that stuff. Maybe find a quiet space, sit down, figure it out. Maybe you could get someone to walk you through it, but realize what is holding you back. And that's what I use as a topic. What's holding you back? Um, again, find that fire within you because you have it. it. It just doesn't go away. And it's just like, it reminds you, okay, I got to do this thing. But then you start the project, you get maybe a few steps, maybe you did it for two weeks, maybe if it's losing weight. And then you say, oh man, I have too many pounds to lose. That's, yeah, that's a big undertaking. If you have 50 or 20 pounds or 100 pounds to lose, you can't lose it all in one day. It will, t it's a process and you have to put the time in that is required because nothing is going to happen. Yeah, some people try to cheat, you know, go see the doctor and get those suction things, you know, but to do it the healthy way, when you do it the healthy way, you know, and you've learned something, nobody can take that away from you. That's yours. You've owned it. So that's what I wanted to bring to you today. What's holding you back? Figure out what's holding you back. Our bodies, our minds make excuses for the, the challenges that we face. We, we have doubt and we allow those doubts to overpower us. So I know there's some things that I need to be working on. And so to give me the more time that I need, so I'm not, because you know, it takes time to prepare to come and share a, a message that would be valuable to someone as they are on their journey. And as I'm learning things, I, I share as well. So um, like Sipo, Sipo, my, um, my business partner, she's uh, producing me this morning. I'm going to be coming on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to allow me myself the extra time that I need to get certain things done. And just like I'm doing, I mean, I'm not just telling you this. I'm, I am things that I'm doing in my life that's helping me, I try to share with others. So good morning, Devin. I hope I said that right. Good morning. Glad that you can join me this morning. Hi, Samira Sensei. Good morning to you. Ursula, she says, when you recognize patterns, you can change them. So true. We, our minds are powerful and we have to program the right things in our minds so we can get over challenges, bumps, hurdles, whatever it is that's blocking us or holding us back. So we don't need to sit in the same spot. We can move on and there are things that we can do. Realize that our bodies naturally want to protect us. But if you know the end goal, what the end goal is and you're working towards that goal, you have to go over, under, through those challenges that come our way. Oh, I can wave to you. Thank you for the love for the hearts. Uh, every morning I come and share. Good morning, Duria. I'm sorry I missed you too. Every morning I come and share just a nugget or something that can help you, that's helping me also, to be able to accomplish our goals, to be able to live amazing lives because we can do that. We have goals that we've set for ourselves and we don't need to let's throw those goals on the side on the, in the bushes. Get back on the track, get back on that horse and ride it to the sunset. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, I appreciate you joining me this morning. If there's anything that I may have shared that pricks your nerve or resonates with you, or that you know of someone who might need to hear this, do share it out. 
because after all on our life's journey we're not on this journey alone we are here to help inspire motivate encourage others but you know ultimately the buck stops with you that fire that's lit that everlasting flame don't ever let it go out keep it burning and then do what you need to do to move forward so I will see you on Wednesday of this week and make today awesome make it powerful and bless someone today I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye now.